iPhone. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. Apple launches are our favorite time of the year because they occur at random, but are always incredibly profitable. With the announcement of the new Mac Mini with M2 and M2 Pro chips and their competitive prices, oddly low by Apple's standards, we'll compare the 2020 version of the Mac Mini with the M1 chip to the new model to see how they stack up. Should you purchase the newest Mini or stick with what you have? Before we answer this question, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. The Mac Mini M1 2020 is ranked second on our list of the best PCs for good reason. It conceals all of its potent hardware within a sleek, compact chassis and runs even the most demanding and memory-intensive applications without complaint. The PC is virtually silent. With such a beloved desktop PC occupying that position for so long, it will be extremely intriguing to see if the newer model with a new chip can displace it. Price and Availability In 2020, the M1 Mac Mini will be available for $699 alongside the MacBook Air M1 2020 and MacBook Pro 13-inch, M1 2020. The trio introduced Apple's first in-house silicon chips and demonstrated their superiority over established competitors such as Intel. The base model's price of $699 is less than that of its 2018 predecessor, which began at $799. However, in typical Apple fashion, the M1 Mac Mini is no longer available for purchase on its website. The new Mac Mini M2 2023 starts at $599, which is a truly astounding price for an Apple product launch. Given that you get twice the memory bandwidth, 8K resolution, and gaming capabilities in one small box, this is a pretty big deal. Every aspect of video editing, coding, photo editing, and anything else you can think of with maximum performance appears to be essentially doubled for a reduced price. Obviously, we cannot be certain until we have the kit in our hands but based on what we know on paper, the M2 Mac Mini wins for value. Remember that mouse, keyboard, and monitor are sold separately from the Mac Minis. Design. Obviously, there is no difference between the M1 and M2 Mac Mini in terms of aesthetics. The latest MacBook Air M2 2021 was the last significant redesign the company attempted, but the Mac Minis have not been updated. It's a shame that Apple is doubling down on such drab aesthetics when the newest iMacs have been praised for their colorful redesigns, but design changes are less important with Mac Minis than they are with MacBooks. The M1 and M2 Mac Minis appear identical, which is acceptable but not ideal. In our review of the Apple Mac Mini M1, we acknowledge that the Mac Mini's aesthetics don't matter because it's designed to fit on your desk and take up as little space as possible. Even with the strict dress code, the Mac Mini appears retro-futuristic and sleek. The M2 Mac Mini has two Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB-A ports, and one HDMI port. The M2 Pro version has four Thunderbolt 4 ports. In terms of design, we will therefore have to declare a tie. You cannot choose a winner if they are identical. Performance. In our review of the M1 Mac Mini, we praise its performance during benchmarking tests and in daily use, highlighting how quiet the small box of components was throughout. Depending on how you utilize your Mac, the M1 Mini's shared memory between the CPU and GPU is either beneficial or detrimental. On the one hand, your computer's unrestricted access to this vast memory pool makes it incredibly quick. On the other hand, your Mac will be unhappy if you use multiple memory-intensive programs and also need a portion of that memory for graphics. With the M2 chip, you get an 8-core CPU and 10-core GPU, and the new Mac Mini 2023 features the M2 Pro with up to a 12-core CPU and 19-core GPU, the first time a Mac Mini has had a professional-grade chip. These specifications are certainly more impressive than the M1's 8-core CPU and GPU. Apple has made a number of bold claims about the M2 Mac Mini, such as a GPU that is 35% faster and promises to run No Man's Sky and Resident Evil Village at impressive frame rates despite its integrated GPU. The M2 is expected to provide 2.8x faster gameplay in Resident Evil Village compared to the previous generation, and according to Apple, the M2 chip will provide 15x faster speeds than the fastest Intel-based Mac Mini. Conclusion 
Unsurprisingly, we must award the victory to the M2 Mac Mini. The newer model is priced competitively and possesses too much potential to lose this contest. On paper, the M2 Mac Mini is shaping up to be a very popular, versatile, and affordable desktop computer that will undoubtedly top the mini desktop charts. Despite the fact that the M1 Mac Mini contains no glaring flaws, it simply does not hold up. Obviously, the M1 is now three years old, and we've seen a significant performance increase between the M1 and M2 chips in the MacBook Air M2 2022 compared to the MacBook Air M1 2020, so we anticipate a noticeable improvement. If you enjoyed today's video, then feel free to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel.